Hi, my name is Andrew George, a 9th percentile MCAT tutor for MCAT Self Prep, the creators of the free MCAT prep course. In this video, I want to discuss what to do on test day if something doesn't go according to plan and how you can stay calm and confident. The sad truth is, is that test day is not going to go exactly according to plan. Just two months before taking the MCAT, my wife gave birth to our first child. Do you think I was able to go to bed and wake up at exactly the same time each night during the final month? Do you think I was able to perfectly simulate the testing environment during my practice exams? I was certainly not able to do all of these things exactly right. But I did my best, and that's what mattered. The night before the MCAT, despite taking the melatonin, some top scorers still only sleep less than four hours. It made them a little nervous, but they moved forward and they did their best. As one student was taking the MCAT, the fire alarm went off in the testing center. They all had to evacuate the building and then return to their tests about a, half an hour, about a half an hour later. Do you think he was able to stay totally calm? I don't think so. How did he end up doing that day? 100th percentile. Yep, test day is not going to go exactly according to plan. But that is totally okay, because it won't go according to plan for the thousands of other students taking the MCAT. But you can have a leg up if you stay calm and remind yourself that you are doing your very best, and that's what matters. One last story about Michael Phelps. Do you think his races always went according to plan? Although it seems Michael Phelps had superhuman powers, there are still things that are outside of his control. For instance, during the 200 meter fly in the 2008 Olympics, Michael Phelps' goggles filled with water soon after the race had begun. What do you think Michael Phelps did? Most people would stop swimming and fix those stinking goggles. Well, obviously that's not what Michael Phelps did. He just kept swimming as usual. The crazy thing is, is that he knew exactly when to do his flip turns based on knowing exactly how many strokes it takes him to get from one side of the pool to the other. In the end, Phelps actually won. In fact, he won the gold medal with water-filled goggles. Now that is pretty amazing. So, when your MCAT goggles start filling up with water, don't worry. You've been preparing for so long that it will be just fine. That gold medal is within your reach. You can do it. And if you are feeling particularly stressed about test day, be sure to schedule a tutoring session with one of our 99th percentile MCAT tutors. They will help you know what you need to know in order to feel calm and confident. They will also be able to help you by giving you key advice, which will result in big points for you on test day. To get started, visit MCATSelfPrep.com right away. We look forward to helping you reach your MCAT goal today.